I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could greet ya. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple O G and you already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and roll into that B-roll. Skip. They say don't let money change you. That's how we know money ain't you. Bitch, I've been had. Bitch, it's been bad. We buy big boats. Bitch, I'm sin bad. Boom. You already know what it is. Your boy got them Jordan off white ones in the Carolina blue color way. Yo, again, I don't know if I said this already in the video, but shout out to my boy Q the Flu for making this possible. Shout out to Sneaker Boutique. We're doing what y'all what you did to make this possible because without people like y'all this would not be possible let's get into the shoes bro let's get into these shoes up close and personal let's go okay so starting off right we have this black nike box og nike box this size is a size oops wrong way Turn the other way. This is a size 13, so no, this is not a personal pair. But the kid gotta do what he gotta do to get what he gotta get. You did. But let's go ahead and look at this shoe. Open up the lid. So on this box, the lid opens up. You see that off-white got a plastic covering right here. That's pretty neat. Who doesn't like a nice Jordan box with some high-tech whatever yeah, craftsmanship? Anyway, let's get into that shoe. Boom. So you got this plastic covering the shoes. Um if you turn it well now you can see it this way so it says on the shoe it says off-white tm for nike air jordan one beaverton ohio beaverton oregon usa uh created 1985 i'm gonna give you guys a look at that but getting into the shoes though let's get that out the package oh man look at that oh yeah now out of all the off-white uh jordans you know not jordan i'm sorry all the off-white shoes the jordan is not my favorite pair but this pair is fire and i got some things i want to say about it it comes with i believe yeah two pairs of laces we got the orange pair of laces we also have that carolina blue pair let's go ahead and get these shoes so just to refute what people say that you know my stuff is not authentic authentic i mean this is the second time i've heard that on youtube and that's something i don't play about um here are, here's the receipt um nike chicago michigan avenue you know what i mean when we get busy we get busy you know what i'm saying just 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 know that anyway let's go ahead and get into these shoes let's get a little up close a little bit more personal both pair let's go bang Yo, this is like fire, man. I wish that I would have did a review on the red and white off-whites, uh, but I didn't. Actually, I didn't actually get my pair. Uh, I had the opportunity to get a pair, but I got about that gym. I was tired that day. That's around the time when the Pharrells came out and your boy was just putting in a whole bunch of work. So on the, in the inside panel of these Jordan 1s, we got that off-white right there, you know, off-white for Nike. On all off-white shoes, they put this here. You know, it should have the year when the shoe was actually create, created. Um, I've seen some fakes out there that don't have the correct date. You know what I mean? When the shoe was created. Now, that's crazy. Um, you know, bottom sole, it is a Jordan 1. The difference is the deconstruction. We got these flats right here, 85, and the inside, you know, bang bang on both sides. Then you got this toe box here. The material is different from the Jordan 1s, you know what I mean? But it's pretty cool. Uh, still deconstructed style, like all off-white stuff. Uh, deconstructed tongue. You know, it has a bluish tint. These come with white laces that say uh, shoelaces right there. So that's pretty cool. You know, on the outside of the shoe, we have that tan, that bluish tint uh, deconstruction. Got that orange right there. I love that part. Orange stitching also right there on the Nike check. Nice stitching on the outside. It's got these flaps also here. Um, brown. Oh, this is like a nice little suede material if you haven't touched it before. You know what I mean? White there, then it goes around that way, right? Pretty dope, pretty dope. We do have that Nike tag right there on the left. Well, it's the right side of the shoe, depending on how you're looking at it. An orange, you know what I mean? Tag in the inside, if you wanna see a production date, you can do that, you know. 
Uh, you guys can see that. I'm trying to give you guys as much fire as possible. Um, and the inside of the shoe, we do have Nike Air right there. We know that we have this response right here on the inside of the shoe, on the insole. I'm not gonna take the insole out. But as you can see, we have those response bumps. You know what I mean? The first time I ever felt that was inside of a Kobe shoe. You know, Kobe is legendary in everything he does. You know, Oscar winner Kobe. You know what I mean? One of my favorite basketball players of all time. So, you know, I got to give a shout out. Got to show love to Kobe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, basic Jordan 1. We got this sole right here. Now, it looks like it's off-white. No pun intended. But it looks like it's off-white. But it's pretty dope, though. You know what I mean? I'm really rocking with this air on the outside again in quotations, you know, you already know what time it is. Yo, again, 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 you know, I wish that I had this pair in my size so I can do a fire on feet, but I can't. This is like actually just too big for me. These will look like boats if I tried these on because you guys know I put on everything. But let's go back face to face. So what do you guys think, man? Are you guys rocking with this off-white Jordan 1? Do you like this colorway better than the red and white one or that Europe exclusive, the all-white one? Me, personally, I like the all-white one. You Like I said, I'm a clean type of guy. You know, all that other stuff is just a little extra for me. Um, you know what's kind of funny? And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, like, downplay the shoe or downplay the creativity of the shoe. But, you know... It's a lot of people just out here just chasing the clout when it comes to these off-white Jordan 1s. And the reason I say that, like, so some of the inspirations from the shoe are things that have been done before. Um, like, it was a Jordan 1 not too long ago that had these little flaps on the, on the side, you know. That's something that I just pretty much couldn't get down with. And I still can't really get down with this. You know what I mean? I've seen this before. You know, I've seen this before. What I have not seen is the different materials here. And you know, that's probably is what makes it fresh. But a lot of people don't really mess with the shoe. They're cloud chasers. And you know something? I just might be one of them. I'm cloud chasing too sometimes. But, you know, tell me what you guys think, man. Like, are you messing with this one more than you're messing with the other pairs? You know what I mean? Like, I think this is a dope shoe. I love the colorways. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear, it's a lot of construction going on, going on outside my house. I don't know why I live in a nice neighborhood, but what the fuck, man? Anyway, this shoe right here is something that I, w I need to have inside my collection. Um, even though, you know, I can't fit this shoe. This shit sucks, bro. This shit sucks. Oh, I didn't uh, go inside the tag here. On this tag here, it does say... Uh, Off-White Co. Uh, C2018 zip tie, whatever. All off-white shoes have is the zip tie. Yo, this is fresh, man. This shoe right here is extra, extra, extra dope. Um, yeah. So again, like, I'll put a pole, like, right here. I'll put, like, an arrow or something, a pole, an arrow. Let me know which pair do you guys like the most. The, the white pair, the red pair, or the well this pair the pair that i have in my hand <laughs> all right anyway like comment subscribe leave some feedback all feedback is great feedback i do this to get better i know i haven't said that in a while but i really do thank you guys for subscribing we're almost there to the next goal the next giveaway is coming as soon as we hit 250 subscribers we will do the next giveaway, man. Like, these are the grassroots of our YouTube channel. We are growing from the bottom right now. For everybody that's here with me, you guys started from the bottom. You know what I mean? We started from the bottom, you know what I mean, until we reached the tippy, tippy, tip top. You know what I mean? And when we get there, we're going to have so much more fire, so much more excellence, and so many more reviews, and so many more giveaways. Holla at you guys next time. Peace. No time soon